chromosomal theory of inheritance chromosomal theory of inheritance states that the genes they have specific loci on the chromosomes if we see here the diagram of the chromosomes here these are the chromosomes which are made up of the nucleosomes as a result of nucleosomes folding and superfolding and coiling of the nucleosomes chromosomes are formed these nucleosomes they are made up of the dna here is the dna and on the dna is the sequence of the genes so we can say that genes are present on the dna or in other words we can say that genes are present on the chromosomes behavior of the chromosome is according to the law of segregation and law of independent assortment scientists in the beginning of the 20th century started to study whether the alleles which are present on the chromosome they separate according to the laws which were proposed or formulated by the gregor mendel the law of segregation and the law of independent assortment in the beginning of 20th century geneticists started to study the parallels between the behavior of the genes and the behavior of the chromosomes alleles are present on the chromosomes chromosomes they are in the form of homologous when the homologous chromosome separate during the process of meiosis it means the alleles will also separate because each gene consist of two alleles and alleles are present on the chromosomes when during the process of meiosis chromosome will segre segregate alleles will also segregate while during the process of fertilization the, there is a restoration of the alleles both the alleles they come together as the homologous chromosome they come together in in the form of fertilization the first evidence that the genes are located on the chromosomes was provided by t h morgan he proved with the help of experiments that the red eye color of the drosophila is linked to the sex of the drosophila he proved with with the with the help of experiments and and proved that the uh, gene for red eye color is present uh, on a chromosome which is called now called as x chromosome on this diagram we can see that Uh, genes uh, chromosomes are present in the form of homologous this is homology 1 this is homology 2 and there is a gene locus at the position of this sister chromatid one of the allele is present on one of the homology while the second allele is present on the second homology these are different alleles of that gene there will be combination of different types of the alleles there can be allele 1 if we say this is allele 1 allele 2 allele 3 allele 4 allele 5 of the same gene because there are some genes which are which has two alleles while there are some genes that have more than two alleles there will be combination of different types of the alleles so we can conclude that the chromosomal theory of inheritance states that the genes which are were also called as the factors of the mendel they are present on the chromosomes